A good morning to you. Today we're in a low-lying area, what we refer to as swampy peaty soil. And once again, this is a type of uh, topology that most people do not like to grow palm oil in. And what I'm going to do is uh, share with you some of the fertilization techniques that we commonly use uh, in this type of areas to maximize yield. One of the problems that we face with peaty ground, especially swampy ground, is that during the rainy season, it has a habit of getting inundated. So flooding is a problem here. And as you can see from this tree, the tree is, uh, is, uh, is slanting. It's slanting due to the root system collapsing. And this is a feature that is very, very common uh, on swampy ground. And one way to augment this problem is to fertilize in a proper way. Now, one of the methods that we use is uh, subsoiling, which means that we dig a hole and we put the fertilizer in. Subsoiling, as many of you in the palm oil industry may already know, is very controversial. It's controversial because there are issues relating to absorption efficiency. And there's also uh, issues relating to uh, root burn. Now, I'm not going to go into those issues. But uh, what I will say is this, that based on our experience, broadcasting fertilizer in this manner is ineffective. Now having said that it's ineffective, it does not mean that you cannot deploy such a method in order to fertilize uh, trees planted in this type of topology. You can. But what you need to do is you need to be mindful of the rainfall. For example, let's say if it rains on Monday and Tuesday, then it would be pretty stupid to uh, manure on Wednesday using a broadcast method. And the reason is very simple. The soil will be saturated for a period of at least a week. There's no way in which the fertilizer can permeate even the topsoil and go beneath the ground to actually have contact with the root system. So in effect, you're wasting the fertilizer. And this wastage is very important because uh, you also need to understand that Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium degrades at different phases. Phosphorus, for example, degrades uh, slower than nitrogen. Nitrogen degrades faster than potassium. So, in order to prevent all these type of complex cal calculations, my advice would be to only manual broadcast method seven days without rain. That is to say, if it doesn't rain for seven days, then you may broadcast. And on the next rainfall, what will happen is that absorption will be optimal. Now, if you don't want to do that, then subsoiling would be the preferred option. But as I said, subsoiling remains controversial in the palm oil industry. One is because of labor utilization, and the other is due to uh, issues relating to uh, the absorption of nutrients using this method. So that will be all. Thank you so much.